Hello, I'm Rich Noonan for Eaton Academy. Thanks so much for visiting our in-depth section. In this segment, we're going to learn about our innovative LEAP program. The LEAP is a post-secondary program designed for students who are either not quite college ready or designed to get uh, work skills and independent living skills. We started LEAP because there was really a hole in the market for kids who were graduating and they did not have placements to go to. Um, some of them were not college bound and then someone never had work experience. So I actually go with the kids on the work sites and they learn real work skills. And we also teach independent living skills such as cooking, um, we're doing laundry, um, and personal finance and general computer skills. Right now we have a partnership with Big Lots, so we have a retail store. Um, we, we do customer service there. We work in the back of the house as well. So we're stickering items, we're merchandising. Um, they're learning the whole process from when it gets off the truck to how it gets on the shelves. Um, itemizing, you know, we have to be really diligent with itemizing each, you know, where the stuff goes. You know, we can't put the tomato sauce with the macaroni and cheese. So uh, giving them little directions and they seem to follow it pretty well. Um, we're also working at, it's called Foster Care Support, which operates almost like a giant thrift store, except they don't sell things. Um, they offer clothes and, and items for foster families for free. So our job is to work in the back of the house and take in donations and sort and itemize everything. Uh, specific sizes, specific um, items of clothing, whether it's jeans, shirts, sweaters, they all have to be itemized and put in specific places. So um, these are really good skills to learn for young adolescents because it teaches them organization skills, which some of them lack, and it also teaches them having a sense of self-pride. So when they're done at the day, they could say that, wow, that looks good, or look at my shelf that I completed. And, you know, getting feedback from the managers, not myself, <laughs> I give them feedback as well, but when a real manager gives them feedback, they feel really good about themselves. So I feel that if a student is graduating, you know, if college isn't their, you know, ideal, then they can join LEAP and get real work experience to put on their resume. So we're doing group discussions, so we talk about how this past week went, or actually the past two weeks went at their internship sites. Um, so we're talking about the different managing styles, because we have four different managers we're working with right now, so it's interesting to compare you know, each manager to each other. Um, as anybody knows, when you come to different work sites and you have different jobs, <laughs> managing style is different. So as an employee, you'd have to know how to you know, regulate which manager is like which, um, you know, some may be softer, some may be harder, some may be uh, wanting you to do it on your own, some may be more hands-on. Um, so understanding these different styles helps these students and we, we discuss these things so they can get understand it. You know, that not every manager is going to be Alanda or George at Big Lots who are very supportive and very hands-on. Um, you know, at, at, big, at uh, foster care, where they're expected to know what to do after the first couple days. Okay, just go in and do it. Um, some managers are like that. So understanding the differences really helps them, um, you know, regulate which kind of managing style there is. 